Do you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse? Of course, to my dying day, we'll stand by every word of my testimony. On Wednesday, June 15th, Today aired part two of an exclusive interview with actress Amber Heard, her first televised sit-down after losing an explosive defamation trial against her ex-husband actor Johnny Depp. Among other revelations, the 36-year-old claimed she still loved Depp and denied wanting to cancel him in her op-ed at the center of the case. And after the disastrous sit-down, the Aquaman star is now blaming her host, Savannah Guthrie, for being biased throughout the interview. How true is that? Or did Savannah simply ask what the masses wanted to hear Amber answer? Let's find out. Amber has largely been painted as a liar in the public eye by Depp's legion of obsessively devoted fans on social media and his Hollywood peers since she first alleged abuse in 2016. Similarly, Savannah appeared to be skeptical of the Aquaman star throughout their one-on-one, -on -one, pressing her on recordings and other evidence presented by Team Depp while conveniently ignoring much of the recordings and other evidence offered by Amber. This has made the actress so angry, and she now claims the journalist was biased. In the first half of the interview that aired on Monday, June 13th, the news anchor grilled the actress on whether she instigated physical violence against Depp, questioned her about recordings that she claims were taken out of context, and informed her that the First Amendment doesn't protect lies. At the conclusion of the interview, Savannah appeared equally cynical and unsatisfied with Amber's answers, telling the actress that her alluding to Depp in her op-ed was unmistakable. She also asked the London Field star if she tipped off TMZ to take photos of her with the bruise when she filed for a restraining order against Depp in 2016. For the most part, her questioning didn't go beyond the information that wasn't already raised during the trial and was disputed by Amber. To make matters even unbearable for Amber and her followers, a week prior to this interview, Savannah disclosed that her husband, Michael Feldman, worked as an advisor for Depp's legal team during the defamation trial right before launching into a discussion with Depp's attorneys Camille Vasquez and Benjamin Chu. The interview went viral on Twitter and was met with immediate backlash from users claiming a conflict of interest. If I was Amber Heard's publicist or PR person, I probably wouldn't grant my client's first major interview with someone who disclosed a conflict of interest, wrote one Twitter user. If Guthrie is to continue to do these interviews, Today needs to make much larger disclaimers that Guthrie, through her husband's consulting gig, was personally enriched by the Depp PR team, posted another. The flagrant conflict of interest is so disrespectful to Ms. Heard. Journalism experts have since weighed in on the controversy, calling the decision for Savannah to interview Depp's lawyers a little nuts and highlighting a financial stake, seeing as how Feldman could be utilized again when Amber seeks to appeal the jury verdict. While the actress nor her representative have yet to speak publicly on the controversy, sources say that Amber and her team were both aware of Savannah's connection to the case and were willing to proceed with the interview, but the outcome is what clearly pissed off the troubled actress. While it's hard to imagine the thought process behind the arranging of this interview and its use in a subsequent editorial, it's possible that Amber, who has been publicly compassionate toward the jury and Depp supporters, wanted to show the public that she could engage in a polite conversation with someone closely associated with her detractors. Still, it seems strange and extremely ill-advised that Amber's team would allow their client to undergo questioning from someone close to Depp for her first major television appearance post-trial, given the number of journalists presumably chomping at the bit to land an exclusive with the actress. Do you think Amber is correct to say Savannah was biased? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't get to miss any of them.